This is part two in the video series showing you how you can use the Excel conditional formatting icon sets in Power BI. We have already seen how to create an icon set using DAX measures and the Unicode character set. But let's see how you can create a totally custom icon set. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is the Excel conditional formatting icon set. And there are some icons which you cannot do simply by the Unicode characters. And one of them is the traffic light. Now I did mention before we get started, I did mention that I like this one better than that one. And let's talk really quickly about that. Why do I prefer one over the other? And the reason has to do with colorblindness. Now, 8% of all men out there are colorblind. It's uh, less as a smaller percentage for women. And this is what it looks like to colorblind people, or it might look like. It's, it's more like a color vision deficiency. But uh, notice that how these icons kind of muddled up. It's hard to tell them apart. Whereas these ones, you can clearly tell because they're encoded not just by the color, but by the shape as well. And my friends, here's, here's the tr truth about accessible design. Accessible design, keeping everybody in mind, is also a better design because it is better for the rest of us as well. When you're encoding this in color as well as shape, it's easier for everybody to tell things apart. So I certainly focus a lot on visualization inside my Learn Power BI program. It's one of the key modules out of the six core modules in there. And besides talking about the visuals and how do you use them and so forth, I also talk about best practices such as the one I just mentioned. So let's go keep going and let's look at the demo of creating a totally custom icon set using any shapes you want. So this is where I have a table where I would like to use that custom icon set. So I have, uh, you know, kind of the budget, cost, variance, variance percentage, and I would like to be able to add the custom icon set here. Now, this is the standard AdventureWorks database, uh, budget, sales, and we're comparing the cost, which is uh, stored as a column in here, to our budget. What did we say we're going to spend? How much did we actually end up spending? And that's the variance between these two. So we would just like to have the icon set here, but really to be able to do custom icon sets like the one shown here, you would have to recreate this table inside the query editor. I've already done that, but let me walk you through the steps. So I'm going to click Edit Query, and remember we're trying to recreate this table. So we have, remember the, the sales table and the budget table, they're already there, they're already part of the data sets. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by referencing the sales table. So we're going to go right click on sales. So you're going to reference the table, not duplicate. And that gives you sales 2016. Notice that it's referencing the sales table as a source. And the first thing we do is remove the columns we don't need filter it down to 2016, because that's what the filter is active over here. And then we essentially group it by month. So we group it by month. And we do the same thing with the budget table. And after this point, we just go merge queries. Come on. There we go. Merge queries as new. Select sales, which is already selected. Select budget. Match it using month. Hit OK. And that gives me this table. Notice the source is a nested join, which is a merge. And then we expand that and we add those custom columns. Let's see if I can make it a little bit smaller. There we go. That's better. So again, we're trying to recreate this table here. So we got the cost and the budget from the two tables here by merging them. And then we're going to add variance as a custom column. So we added variance right here, simple math, and variance percentage, we added that. So now we have we're ready for uh, for adding that custom icon set. So now you can see that uh, these two tables kind of match each other uh, pretty almost almost exactly, right? So the numbers, the formatting is different, but the numbers are the same. So we're going to add that as a URL. So what I've done is I've uploaded these images, these custom icon images to my website. And if you come back here, I'll show you how I've added the custom. Um, let's go back to here. 
and our query. Perfect. So let me show you how I've added this step. So this is a custom conditional column and it's simply checking the variance and saying, hey, if it's less than this value, then notice it shows it pulls in the red icon. And if it's uh, less than a different value, it pulls in the yellow icon. Otherwise, it shows the green icon, right? So it's simply and of course, you can modify these thresholds as you wish. You can have more icons, you can use different icons, whatever you wish to have, uh, simply upload it and make it accessible using a URL. So that is our last column to show the indicator to show the custom icon set. And now let's load our data back. Alright, so the table is loaded. And I have here where I have added the column. Now you notice that right now, it's not showing any icon set. In fact, it's just showing you the URL because we're missing one last step. And this is what we need to do. You need to go to the table that we just loaded, go to the variance percentage indicator, go to the modeling tab right here. So again, I selected the column. And uh, sometimes people kind of get lost in here where they, they, they start clicking on the checkbox, make sure you don't click on the checkbox, click on the name itself. And once you click on that, notice how it has this, uh, this, this kind of, a, uh, you know, kind of a yellow box around it, that's what you want to do. So once you have selected the column by clicking on the column name, you can go on the modeling tab. And what you're looking for is this part, the data category. And notice right now it says uncategorized, there are tons of options here, very useful. I'm not going to talk about all of them in this video, because the only one we're interested in is the image URL. And notice what it's going to do, it's going to essentially tell uh, Power BI that hey, this is this is actually an image. So notice as soon as I click this, this happens, right? So now we are seeing our custom icons based on the threshold we specified. And again, you have complete flexibility as to what image you want to show here. So that's how you can uh, use the custom icon sets to show any icon set that you desire in Power BI. In the next video, I'll show you how you can do this by combining Excel with Power BI. Now click the subscribe button so you're notified as soon as I upload the next video. Power on my friend. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.